to Cheers. Hi, we have another Chelsea haul. Yeah, first one in um, a hot minute. And we're actually physically together. I know. <laughs> um, I quarantined, for, we both quarantined for like two weeks before seeing each other, so. And I've just been quarantining since quarantine. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> so we are good if you guys were worried about that. <laughs> Not trying to get a pregnant girl. Being safe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> But anyways, if you guys want to see what we got on our K-Beauty haul, then just, just keep, keep watching. watching. So we just unpacked everything for you, and we'll just go through what we got. If you want to go first, Nelly. Sure. Um, let's start with washing. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but Madagascar cleansing foam, and I got this on our last Jose haul as an accident because mm -hmm. I ordered a different facial cleanser, but I actually ended up falling in love with this. Mm -hmm. So I um, got it again. It's like the most luxurious foam ever. Like seriously, the thickest like foam mm -hmm. I've ever used, and the scent is really really nice. And it's super gentle on the skin and it actually protects your skin from like pollutants. Mm -hmm. And um, I've actually, I can really attest to that because I haven't really broken out while using this. And actually I stopped using it because I ran out and look. Oh. I got breakouts. <gasps> what? So I don't know, this thing is magic. And it has Centelia Asiatica extract, which I know is supposed to be really good for acne, like prone skin. It's mm -hmm. supposed to like help soothe the skin. So that's pretty good. Yeah, and then after you wash it, your face just feels really like fresh, but not like stripped, uh -huh. if that makes sense. Yeah. So I've really been liking it and just not using it for, I think a week, I can already- Just tell, one week? Uh -huh, I can already tell Dang. a difference in my skin. I literally started breaking out because I ran out of this. <laughs> oh my gosh, maybe I should have gotten this too. <laughs> Cause I've been like, I've been dealing, you know this, mm -hmm. but I've been dealing with breakouts on my forehead this entire summer <laughs> and I do not know what is going freaking on. So as you can, you'll see in my haul <laughs> what I got and what I'm like trying to do to like, <laughs> just calm down my skin, but that's really cool. Maybe yeah. I'll get that next time. <laughs> um, keeping on the train of cleansing foams, I also got um, the one from Kosar X, the low pH good morning gel cleanser. This is something that I just really have been enjoying for like the past so year good. or two, <laughs> um, especially because it does have that low pH. So in the past, I don't usually wash my face with soap in the morning, but because I've been dealing with acne breakouts on my forehead, as well as a little bit on my chin here and there, like just constantly, <laughs> um, I've been using this more often in the morning just to kind of try it and help my skin to be cleansed better and to prepare it for a morning skincare routine. So that's why I got this. But usually I use this even at nighttime. Doesn't that have tea tree oil in it too? Yeah, exactly. And it has tea tree oil, which is good for acne and like making it go away. Making it all sterile. Yeah. So, um, and it's Kosarx, which is a brand really, really well known for acne control. Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of Kosarx this time. <laughs> I can see that girl. <laughs> Speaking of Cosrx, <laughs> um, I also got the Advanced Snail 92 All-in-One Cream. Um, I've just been crusty. I don't really, there's no beating around the bush. Like this summer, just crust. So Really? <laughs> yeah. You'd be looking glowing though. I think it's the pregnancy, like yeah. the baby's just like sucking the life out of me. <laughs> So, you know, anything I can do to combat that and like help my skin, I'ma do it. Mm -hmm. And um, if you've ever tried the Cosrx like snail formulas, they're super duper moisturizing. Even and, the essence. Yeah, yeah, and it's not as gross as it seems. Like, I mean, if Chanel can handle it. If I, I can, can handle, handle it, it, yeah, it's fine. And it actually like, you don't feel dirty using it. It's it's all nice. Like they did a good job filtering everything. <laughs> like, hopefully, you're, you're not, yeah, hopefully. That's what I'm calling myself. <laughs> But it's so good. This will keep you hydrated like throughout the night. Cause I usually put this on at night mm -hmm. before bed and like I wake up in the morning and it's- Wait, so have you tried this one out then before? Mm -hmm. So what do you suggest? This one or the hyaluronic acid cream? Different things. Really? So okay. if, I'm, if I'm like flaky dry, I'll use the hyaluronic acid cream mm -hmm. with like a spray essence on top. Mm -hmm. But if it's just like a normal, there's no like actual evidence of flaking, then I'll just use this every night. You just feel like a tightness to yeah. your skin. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, so hyaluronic acid's like if you're real ratchet, and then this is like maintaining the, the ratchet, the maintaining, <laughs> maintaining the level of ratchet. Um, okay, I guess next for me to keep along kind of cream thing, I got the uh, Nature Republic Aloe Vera gel. That looks um, juicy. I know. 
especially because it's summertime, I've been super active with like doing outdoorsy things like paddle boarding, hiking, camping, and stuff like that. And so for days where I see a lot of sun, I know that aloe vera is like really great for soothing the skin. Also because my acne Stop. is great for soothing the skin. <laughs> and so um, I've heard great things about aloe vera as well as um, the Nature Republic's aloe vera. So I wanted to give it a try and if I see a difference. Have you seen those videos where they literally have that aloe vera leaf and they comb it yeah, into? Yeah, I literally, oh no, I haven't seen that. Yeah, they comb it into a jar like this. I wonder if this is the same one, like oh, the brand. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's 92%. It looks, it looks great. Like it's super, I don't know if the camera can catch it, but can you see the jelliness of it? <laughs> it's super jelly. It's jiggling. Yeah, like, <laughs> if only it'll do that to us. <laughs> I'm trying out a new eye patch as well. This is the Petite Fit. <laughs> gold and snail hydrogel eye patch. They're like gold eye patches and I don't know about y'all but I've been very tired. <laughs> I was just telling Laura about this like I pregnancy man I have to wake up like three to four times a night and then like after those three to four times oh that's just to go pee by the way. <laughs> After those three to four times too, I lay down in bed and I can't sleep for like an hour. Cause baby's like, cause the baby's just like deciding to have a rave in my stomach. So, um, mama needs this. <laughs> ew, ew, you did not just call yourself a mama. <laughs> um, and it comes with a, you know, spatula to keep things a little more sanitary and hygienic. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, I'm going to use this multiple times a day. I should just use this every time I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> just like slap them on. But um, yeah, I love these things. They're kind of nice if you don't want to do like a whole face mask and you just want a little pick me up to not look like a zombie. Get you some. <laughs> um, to also not look like a zombie, kind of, because of all the spots on my head. <laughs> going on. I got this AC Collection Ultimate Spot Cream from CosRX. That looks very medicinal. <laughs> I know, it looks so medicinal. And just because um, lately, even the hyperpigmentation has been a little bit harder for me to handle. Mm. Like Chanel's, I know, I don't know if you guys know this, but Chanel has, when she gets acne, like hyperpigmentation is a real thing for her. Like she, what did you say? It was like a month or something? Yeah. Last, yeah. And mine's going for like weeks where usually like mine will be over within a week. Mm. But this Maybe is Maybe it's also because you're out. Like you're getting more sun and you're getting darker. I don't know. And so I've been going ham on the vitamin C <laughs> and that's not helping. <laughs> but um, that's what, uh, it just comes in like a small tube like this. And that looks so nice. I know. <laughs> it's like medicine. It's just kind of like, they, and hopefully it's going to help me. I didn't really read too much into how this works or what the ingredients are. I just kind of trusted CosRx. Aloe vera, tea tree. Yeah. So. Oh, smell it. It smells like medicine. Oh, okay. yeah. It actually smells like that face wash. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. A little bit more medicinal, but um, I'm going to be applying this and hopefully apply a thick layer, layer. directly on yeah. the target spot. But what's also interesting is that although I've been I've been struggling with acne. Oh, it has a cool feeling on it. No, wait, like you that. can't feel it. <laughs> I was like, wait. It has a cooling feeling. Like the place I put it on, it feels a little bit cool on my hand. Interesting. Oh, right. Like minty. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. But anyways, so. <laughs> oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've been struggling with this for like the past like four months or something. I think my acne like being sporadically on my forehead and like my chin area. But lately, like the past three weeks, it's gotten better. Mm. Like right I literally before. don't even see. I know, exactly. <laughs> but remember, like it was like popping up all over near my eyebrow area. You yeah. saw it when it was like that. Yeah. And then it's like, it was like popping up in like the middle here and here. Like I was just able to kind of manage by because of makeup. <laughs> And then I was like, I just have to fix this. But now that Thank it's fine. I know, but now that it's finally settling, I'm so annoyed because I got all just this. Got this. So we'll see. We'll see. It does feel really nice though. Mm -hmm. I love that. More skincare because what would a Jolsey haul be without that skincare? skincare? But um, I got the Witch Piggy Hell Pore Control Hyaluronic Acid 97%. <laughs> and um, just, you know, on the same train of just being crusty. I got this. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell what the difference is in our skincare? Is like, She's like, like, I'm trying to get rid of these oils and I'm just like, give me all the oils. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
like here. <laughs> <laughs> we talked about this a lot on our channel, but it's just like concentrated hyaluronic acid serum. And I love using this after my right after my toner underneath all of my other skincare so I can just layer it up and my skin can just soak it all in. And um, it's actually, we've talked about this quite a bit too, but like how cheap it is for the percentage of hyaluronic acid you get. So um, if you are a dry skin person like me, slash pregnant and even more dry skin, <laughs> get something like this because <laughs> Noel was telling me earlier, she was like, this baby is sucking out all the water from me. It is. Like I, I, okay. I'm not a very big water drinker. Maybe it's because you're peeing so much. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> like all the water is just like leaving your body. But it would have to be absorbed too, no? I mean, sometimes it doesn't absorb enough of like, what the I'm just supposed to be hooked up to my water IV all day long. <laughs> I mean, you're home 24-7, might as well be. <laughs> but yeah, girl, I've just been drinking so much water, and even still, the crust mm. is real. It's real. I mean, that's nothing new, though. <laughs> it's more real. It's like if, it's it, real, if real. real was fake, now it's real. <laughs> <Stupid>. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> also, Kosar. <laughs> um, it is In the medicinal packaging. <laughs> It is original clear pad, Salix Alba Bark Water and BHA. So this is gonna be really great for like exfoliating the skin. Mm -hmm. But apparently- Yeah, that sounds so rough to me. <laughs> I'm like, get that far away. Yeah, ooh, and it has like matte ooh. packaging, which I'm a fan of. It looks but like look. a cute tub of ice cream. <laughs> oh my God, is someone hungry? No. Yeah, yeah so it just kind of <laughs> looks like that. Um, I'm, I'm obsessed sure. with this color scheme. I know. Look at this, guys. White with the orange. And I've never used one of these before. I'm so. fully expecting full on tea tree smell. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that is like so pungent. Oh, that yeah. sounds, yeah, that smells like it's Ooh. going to work. But this itself, oh, that's Ooh, it's thick. Real wet. That's really thick. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I wish my skin felt like this. <laughs> <laughs> Your skin felt like that. No one would want to touch you. <laughs> I would want to touch it. <laughs> but um, it, it's like kind of. Quilted? Quilted. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of quilted and um, very, there's just like a ton of moisture on there. <laughs> so, I don't know if you could see the wetness of my hand, but like, as you can see, it's like very it's juicy. Juicy. Oh, it has bark, willow bark water. I really like the smell of this though. I know, there's citrus in it, like orange peel extract, which will help to like brighten the skin. I don't know what the other stuff, there's castor oil in here. I thought that was supposed to help with growing hair. It does. So I don't know how I feel about that, like on the cheeks. Next video, <laughs> you might have a full on beard. <laughs> like, I don't know. Next, you'll say haul a bunch of waxing stuff. Yeah, there's arginine in here too. This is like a one step. It says to wipe a pad across the face and neck after cleansing, use once or twice a day. So like usually I use the Clinique toner. Oh, so yeah. I think instead of using that, this is the step that I'll go in. Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited for it and I'll keep you guys updated as I go through my my personal acne journey. <laughs> All right, next one, it's another Eliza Becca product. I actually got this because I ran out of my Atomy eye cream, because that thing's like, okay, it's a good size, but it's smaller than my other stuff. And like I said, my under eyes are just not, mm. not it right now. But it's the Eliza Becca Gold CF Nest. Yeah, like swallow's nest or bird nest. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. White bomb eye cream. And white is the opposite of dark. So I want white under eyes, <laughs> not dark under eyes. You should just start applying highlighter to your eyes. <laughs> it's like beam. Yeah. But it comes in a little squeezy tube like this, which I really like because I don't really like dipping my fingers into tubs, especially with these nails, y'all. Mm. But, yes, um,. Dang. Yeah, look at that. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't really smell like anything. Yeah, it doesn't really have a smell. Oh, like a baby smell. Yeah, it smells powdery. Yeah. It feels thick, so I feel, I'm gonna give this a try. I've never used this before, but I usually am pretty impressed with Eliza Betka stuff. Mm hmm And you can't beat the cute- Piggy. Twedgy on mm -hmm. him. So, like that's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my husband actually, Mondo, always says bomb girl to me 
And I'm like, girl who's shaped like a bomb. <laughs> Round. <laughs> and so he changed it to dynamite girl because they're skinnier. <laughs> Mondo. Okay. Um, next is the Time Revolution from Misha, the Artemisia Treatment Essence. And I got this based on another YouTuber's suggestion. Her name is Morgan Stewart. And if you want to follow her, I think her channel's like The Beauty Breakdown. But anyway, so it comes in this kind of packaging, which I think is really cool looking. That it's is, like this green color. It looks color. So expensive. Mm -hmm. well, you know. So luxury, luxury. girl. Um, but basically this one is also known as mugwort and it's really great. It has like vitamin A and vitamin C in it. It's going to be really good for rejuvenating the skin as well as just kind of relaxing it and calming it down as well as obviously that vitamin C component to brighten the skin. So um, Morgan highly recommended it. Uh, I wanted to give it a try because I trust a lot of what she says in terms of her... She's tried a lot of stuff. Yeah, she's tried a lot of stuff. So. I wanted to give this a try. Also, Misha's Time Revolution line is just really, really good. Just gave the Artemisia a try for now. It looks so good. Yeah. Next one, <laughs> I got this actually as a recommendation from Labra, but it's the Cover Perfection Tip Concealer from The Sim. Mm -hmm. And it has SPF, guys, a little, a little bit, 20, SPF 28. But she swears by this and I was like, I'm gonna need to try that mm -hmm. because if this is the best concealer you've ever used, like I need to be on that train. Yeah. So I'm gonna give this a try because you know, like I said, my under eyes. I this one doesn't crease for me, mm -hmm. like as much as other concealers. Like I think the Smashbox one, like as good as it is, the coverage is better for this and it doesn't crease as much. So out of all the concealers that I've tried so far, this just has worked best for my under eyes. So is I've been it like it. creamier? Mm, creamier. Okay, see, so I box. like creamy formulas because they move with you. Mm -hmm. Do you set this? No, I never set my concealers. Yeah, it's like a tiny, tiny cute little size, yeah. but like to go, you know? It has just like a regular doe foot applicator. But look at that, y'all. Ooh, that's a good color, Lars. Mm -hmm. You wanted that white under eye? I did. <laughs> Look at that. That's some good, good that's coverage. Yeah. I'm excited And that is like so this. tiny of a dot too, yeah. so a little goes a long way for it. Ooh, I'm excited. And it's not super settling into your lines. It just smells like the eye cream. I <laughs> don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have a smell. I can see what you mean by it has like a creamy texture. Mm -hmm. It doesn't like dry down to like the Smashbox one, yeah. or the Tarte Shape Tape. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm excited to try this. I'll try it and give you guys my review too. I'm pretty sure it'll match Laura's though. <laughs> okay. And next I got um, two Moonshot lipsticks. Uh, this one is the Moonshot Cream Paint Tin Fit in the color Hazel Rose or 503. And then this one is the Cream Tint Fit in the color 504 or Another Red. Those are such cute packaging. I know, I love Moonshot. And like it comes in like oh. a pair like this, so it's kind of like the tint aspect of it. It's like neat. Oh, we want to see. Oh, that's thick. Mm -hmm. That's a tint. Yeah. It looks like a liquid lip. Yeah, kind of does, right? But apparently, maybe you just need a little and yeah. you blot it out. Exactly. And then this is the red. And this is actually a gift for someone, so I, I'm not gonna swatch it. Don't swatch it. <laughs> but um, it's the color difference is this versus this. Cute. So. Yeah, and if you want to see, like, so that's the difference in terms of actual color mm. versus packaging. But yeah. Oh, shoot, which one's which? Yeah, here we go. Very cool. Yeah. It smells like peach. <gasps> it does. Oh, that's a cute color. I like that color. I got the Blackhead Pig Clear strips from Holica Holica, and it is a three-step system. We always get these, mm -hmm. I feel like, because they just work the best, you guys. There's one where oh, it This is it why stains. it's a tint. <laughs> like it's not going away. It really ain't going away. Yes! <laughs> I need, this looks kind of like a highlighter now. It does. Look at that. Cute. Sorry, we're like, we didn't mean to test it out, forth, but, but it's real cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically step one is a little serum patch for your nose that opens up your pores. And then step two is the one that is like the ouchy part. <laughs> You rip them all out. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't hurt that bad. Yeah, it's not that but bad. But it's Faye. 
Oh, she's like the worst yeah. when it comes to pain. So she, it's not that bad. If you guys. have a low pain tolerance, it probably hurts, but it's, really not, it's that not that bad. The most satisfying step though. Mm. Mm. Oh, that forest. <laughs> I'm looking for that forest. So good. And then step three is another serum type patch that like closes up your pores again. So nothing gross gets in them for a longer period of time, but Wonderful. I love these. Like they work so much better than just like the regular Biore patches by themselves. But of course, like those work in a pinch because this does take a little more of a, a time. little while. Yeah. But you are squeaky clean after using these. So I always get these whenever we do a Jose mm -hmm. haul. <laughs> Okay, last one, we actually both got it. I usually don't get these, <laughs> but, but once did. again, I've been struggling with acne, so. <laughs> <laughs> they are the Clear Fit Master Patches from Cosrx. These are hydrocolloid <laughs> patches. patches. <laughs> um, they basically absorb all like the oil the and the gunk in your in your acne Pimples. and this works so much better than like popping it because when you pop it you actually create more of a crater in your face mm -hmm. so this one just extracts it and then after like the x hour mark when you pull it out it's just like it one little tree out. yeah it's nasty like like this is forest this, this is, is tree, tree. <laughs> but um i actually got these because they sold the ones that i usually get but mm -hmm. these are updated. Yeah, these are the updated ones. I noticed that too. Oh, also update. It's not really a tree. Like not like. A, oh, sometimes. It? Sometimes it depends. Sometimes on it's, it's like a hard. tree. Sometimes it's just. Like it's just like a round white dot. A pile of leaves. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I am curious though because these ones seem to have a thinner outer perimeter mm -hmm. of the sticker, and then the. The middle is thicker, so I think maybe it'll have more of a magnetizing effect. Hopefully. Yeah, but we're excited for these. Yes. So good. So with each Jolse haul, we always get samples with our shipments, and the more you order, the more samples you get. Usual for like this size amount of stuff that you get, you get a sock, you get a Demin and Sugon. <laughs> which is Demin and Sugon. <laughs> which means it's gonna exfoliate your body. <laughs> And um, you oil get absorbing sheets. <laughs> yeah, which I don't use. And you don't need either. Mondo? No. No. But this one <laughs> I wanted to call out because I thought the packaging was so cute. It says prescription skincare for you. And you know when you go to the pharmacy, they yeah, always give you like those that. like lunch lunch bogs. Lunch, lunch bogs. <laughs> those, wow, luxurious. <laughs> those are lunch bogs. You know. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> the like paper bags, the paper bags, the paper box, the papyr box, <laughs> the paper box. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> but anyways, uh, this one is a toner and an oil cut cleansing foam, and then Be they just cute. into the bog. What a cute sample! You also get like all these foil packets. <laughs> yeah, which usually con consists of like. Other essences, essences toners, yeah, cleansing foam, sometimes shampoo conditioner, yeah. sheet mask. <laughs> but yeah, this was our haul, guys. We hope you enjoyed it, and we will keep you updated with any like ones that we really, really like or ones that we don't really, really like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that happens quite some, uh -huh. quite a bit. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if you guys have any suggestions for us on items that we should try or that you want us to try for you, then. Comment. comment down below <laughs> give this video a like so that we know that you actually like it and subscribe to our channel Ooh. ring the notification bell to see more content like this and as always cheers to a good week guys cheers to a good week bye, bye.